Good morning. Today I will be showing you all the procedures I went through in getting off the transmission pan on this 1992 Isuzu Big Horn. I prop it up here, I raise the front. Then uh, I braced it at the back to get the transmission pan out. You need to take out the support that goes here and here which supports the transmission now to get the pan out or this little one you need to take out the exhaust but that vehicle is so corroded that i didn't want to tamper with the exhaust and get it out i tried to see if i could let this pan pass without taking out the exhaust but i cannot so i put it back in and this one i drained the fuel out of it And I got it out. I put one, two bolts on it, but it seemed like it wasn't secured. I got it out. Now I've ordered the transmission filter and the gasket to replace this one. Let me take out the other bolt and take out the pan. I'll pause the camera, the video for now. Yeah, I've got the pan out. And this is what the magnet looks like. And uh, inside uh, the pan. This is the transmission. I will be re replacing these solenoid. To see if things would be better. Now, when or if y'all would be doing your transmission, I cannot tell y'all how to jack up the vehicle, what props to use. The safety factor would be yours because everybody way of tackling things won't be the same but just be safe while doing it if you have problems you would have to take out your manifold which with the manifold on i still have problems in getting the pan out because of this portion here but because of the age of the vehicle and the way i got the vehicle i doesn't want to go through all these procedures the vehicle had packed for a very 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 long time and everything Thing I need for this 
Aizuzu has to be ordered if you look at the state of it that vehicle had parked for a long time but I won't be keeping it I will just change the filter put the right fluid change the solenoid and see what is what because it's been slipping in gear once you take out the transmission brace that comes here and uh, make sure to support the transmission with a jack with a jack or if you don't have a spare jack use um straps to bind it up this is it for this uh, short video on how I took out my transmission pan this transmission has a dipstick as you can see here it has a dipstick so it's not been filled from the bottom so once I get everything up, is go and get some fluid and put in it. This is it for this uh, Isuzu transmission pan until the next one. Thank you and goodbye.